I disciplined for three members of the Denver Sheriff's Department in regards to that video we showed you. It shows deputies restraining an inmate so severely he couldn't breathe and he died. Well, today, two deputies and a watch commander were suspended as punishment for Michael Marshall's death. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to Marshall's family today. They call this punishment, Lance, laughable. Shannon, one of those deputies was suspended for 16 days, the other two for 10 days. Marshall's family told me that's tantamount to getting paid for vacation. They tortured my uncle. An emotional Natalia Marshall talking about her uncle's death in the downtown Denver jail. Michael Marshall, who had mental issues, was arrested for trespassing in November 2015. Security video shows a deputy grabbing him as he tries to skirt past. Several deputies restrain him, using their weight on his back. He vomited and later died of asphyxia. He needed a medical response, but what he was met with was a physical response. Today, the deputies involved were suspended for 10 to 16 days. That's like putting a child in time out. 16 days, they get to spend time with their family, with their loved ones, something I'll never, ever be able to do. I, somebody should at least get lose a job. Clearly, anyone looking at the videos can see that Mr. Marshall was a very small, frail man who was suffering a mental health crisis, not a danger to anyone. The family's attorney says today's punishment doesn't hold anyone accountable. But this is not accountability. There's nothing about this slap on the wrist that is that could constitute accountability for the death of a non-dangerous man. Now I reached out to the independent monitor to ask his reaction. He says he's concerned about this because he doesn't think that the uh, discipline meted out is commensurate with the seriousness of what happened. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Thank you, Lance. And in response to this video, the Denver Sheriff's Department has added more crisis intervention training and mental health first aid training to its employees and reviewed its use of force policies. The department also says it plans to do a better job of getting inmates with mental health issues into support services. Within